So, you want to know how to focus blur? Well, call Bird and email Ernie, because this is about to be a banger. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to focus blur an image. Super easy stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. We are in GIMP once again today, but every photo manipulation program has some sort of focus blur kind of thing going on. So let's go ahead and go up to real quick. Let's go ahead and duplicate our image just so we don't mess it up. And we have a, a backup copy just in case. Hit duplicate. There we go. We're just turning the eye off of the original copy. Now on this uh, main copy we have now, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. We have, uh, we're going to go up to the filters and then go to blur. Then we go to focus blur. Now instantly you can see what this does is it's going to create a big little circle on your screen and it's going to make it so that everything without outside of the circles uh, progressively gets more blurred and more blurred until it is so blurry you can't see it anymore. Now I'm going to move this around. You can move it to different areas. You can see the blur will uh, go to wherever you focus it in on. Obviously I think I'm going to focus here on her eye. I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, take this little piece and pull it out so it's a little more wide so both of our eyes are in it and then i'll go ahead and, and click on the um the uh this one on top kind of make it thinner a little bit so it's a little more narrow and then go ahead and click on the complete outside of all three of the circles and then we kind of rotate it so it matches the uh the uh kind of angle her eyes are at and go ahead and just make this a little bit wider there you go and i think this is a little too blurred on the outside so i'll go ahead and i'll pull uh i'll pull this back a little bit there you go so th this is a little less blurred in this area like that and also make sure the blur radius is a little bit smaller because I don't want to be that blurred kind of crazy um, we can go insanely blurred to the point where you can't even see anything at all anymore but I I don't I don't really want to do that so we're gonna go ahead and and just not d do that because that looks kind of strange so we'll go ahead and just put, put it down to a nice uh, solid easy breezy eight I think something like that um, which looks really uh, pretty cool but just just barely focuses it on her face which is uh, a very subtle effect but as you can see looks really cool and okay on that now you can see if we go back and forth here you can see that we uh, have a great big old difference down here this is insanely more blurred than it was previously and it gives the the focus directly to her face area now uh, there's a second way to do this which I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now we're gonna use the original picture the one where it's completely unblurred as you can see we'll go ahead and duplicate that once again now I will uh, hide the base image again, so we'll get rid of those. So now we only have one image that is view visible. I'll duplicate this this image again, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then we're just gonna blur this just by however much we want to blur. So I'm gonna blur it by like 13 or maybe 12. Hit OK. Now we'll take our eraser and we'll just great grab a very soft brush at a very high uh, size, something around like 1,200. Maybe even higher than that, 1,600. And we'll just go ahead and just oops, make sure we go to layer, transparency, add alpha channel. And then we can go ahead and just like kind of click away some of the areas we want to be more focused. Now, this is super um, customizable because with the other one, as you can see, the center was basically all that we had to work with. Whatever was in the center was completely fully un focus what will completely focused uh, but with this you can see we can kind of click once and kind of have a little foggy effect we can go down here and click on this uh, on her hand maybe a little bit on her shoulder we have kind of more of a uh, freedom to blur and leave unblurred what we want rather than just having it be what it is and we can also make sure the opacity is down we can turn the opacity down and kind of just blur unblur things a little bit so we have uh, the the freedom to kind of do what we want and just like get some pieces in there um, that might be cool. Now this is a much more stylized effect because a lot of the image is still obviously blurred even on the places where it is unblurred. This is very foggy through here, obviously. Um, so it's a very stylized effect, but uh, this is another very cool thing. Now if you don't want it to be stylized, you're just going to fully erase the entire thing. And then obviously that's very clear right there, very clear through there. You know, If you don't want it to be foggy at all, just fully erase the entire portion where you want it to be unblurred. And then obviously it is no longer stylized. But if you want to keep it stylized just fully don't erase everything it looks uh pretty cool if you ask me so those are two different ways to get a nice focus blur kind of effect um hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it very very simple uh this one is doable in any program you don't need to worry about being in gimp and not having the filters blur focus blur you can do the second one second uh technique on in any program ever you can do it in microsoft paint um but yes i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then, bye-bye.